Finally, we've reached a point where we can start working on our database layer, which in our case is SelaDB. I will dedicate this video to designing our tables and their schemas. Since we're using Sela, it translates into actually thinking about the queries we'll be making from the application. And uh, let's start, let's talk about what those queries actually are. We want to be able to find a specific report in our database. We want to find all the reports created by a specific user sorted based on their creation time. We want to find all the reports given their status. For example, find all the reports that are pending in descending order. We want to find a specific message in a report, or more generally, find all the messages that belong to a report ordered by their creation time. Now, I would argue that the following is the most suitable schema for our reports table, where we'll store all the information about the reports that we receive into our system from our users. Based on the schema and its primary key, we can only ask for a specific report by providing its report ID. So how can we use this information to get an answer for our other queries? In previous versions of Scylla, we'd create another table with the same schema. Note that it's okay to duplicate data since we're using NoSQL, but using a different primary key, like so. But Scylla now supports a great feature called materialized views, and we'll actually utilize that for our other queries. So if, so if we derive the following two other materialized views from reports, we can have all our answers. This is the syntax or the way to create materialized views in Scylla. Note that we always have to include all the primary key fields in where clause in the form of is not null check plus exactly one other additional field that uses the partition key, while the original primary key fields will comprise the clustering key part. And finally, for our messages table, we'll use the following schema. With this schema, we can list all the messages of a report ordered by created at field. 